we're jumping into the editing features. Um, you'll notice the help key, this question mark in the top right corner. That's the best way really to learn how each and every one of these editing features works. Um, this video couldn't be long enough for me to, uh, to, to go through each feature. There's a couple that I do like to point out though that are page, or, I'm sorry, time stamping and page numbering. Okay, Page numbering is important because you can choose where the, the page number goes, short edge or long edge, and you can choose where on the screen you'd like to put that page number. Okay, And then the next two that I like to point out are one is omit blank page and what that will do is remove digitally any blank pages that you have from your originals to your output. Um, outside erasing is for when you're using the glass to do any kind of odd size originals let's say a check or an ID card or something of that nature so that you're not having to lift and close the document feeder um, to make those copies you can actually leave the document feeder open lay your original on the glass choose outside erase and it will then get rid of all that black toner that you see on normal copies when you leave the dock feeder open. Okay. Um, because this is a black and white device, there's not a whole bunch of image um, adjustment features. One that's extremely important is the background adjustment. Let's say you have a color, um, a document that's a color original, something like this. If you were to copy this on a black and white machine, it would come out as all grayish and all of this text would kind of be lost in, in that gray toner wash. So if you use your background adjustment and hit the light button, to the far left it just lightens up the background, leaves all of this text in full sharp black text but just pulls out that color so that you have a white, a basic, you know, white copy with strong black text. Okay, so that's your imaging features. So moving on, we'll jump to the drawers. The drawers really, there's not a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of information on the drawers as far as uh, changing paper out. They are universal size paper drawers that'll go up to 12 by 18. Um, the one thing that you need to remember with the drawers is that there is a lock feature on the back, okay? Too many times we see people only pulling the drawer out that much and then you can't, that, that lock is not visible. Just make sure that we're pulling it out all the way and locking that feature. Once we, you have to unlock it to make adjustments, okay? And then once you make your adjustments, you lock it closed, okay? And everything's labeled. You can see there's markings along here. Right now it's labeled on legal. And this comb is adjustable to pull out for that guide set right there, okay? So we lock it, we push it back in. Each drawer is 550 sheets, okay? And you wanna hear that sound. Not sure if you can hear it on the, uh, on the video, but you wanna hear the actual, the, the paper actually lifting up to those feed tires um, in order to be picked and pulled into the, into the machine itself, okay? Um, we do have the second drawer on this device set for cardstock. Okay, There's, uh, it's on a thick three setting for this card stock. When in doubt, just go to the highest setting on thickness, which is thick three. Hopefully that won't be changed out too, too much. And you can see on each one of these drawers, there's pretty much um, self-explanatory uh, picture directions along, right, where we fan out the paper, load the paper in, uh, um, sharp edge along this side first and then push the drawer back in, and again, it highlights the lock feature on the drawers, okay? So, from a jamming standpoint, um, the fun stuff starts in that when a machine jams, uh, it'll show you on the device itself, on the, whoops, on this user interface, where on the machine it's going to jam, okay? So if there's a jam in the dock feeder, it'll show you here, and if we look, this figure here looks like um, a couple rollers with some paper jammed up in between, all right? That's what it's going to look like on the actual user interface to show you where the jam is, like you'd see that signal there, okay? So anything that's this color green is going to be where you go to uh, remove your jams, okay? One thing we do ask is that uh, it, when you're removing a jam, take the, take the paper if there's a jam, from each corner and pull slowly and easily out of the feed tires. If you end up pulling you know, from one corner or the other, we can get a situation where we tear a corner, that kind of thing can get caught up in the gears. 
and create a jam. We then left with a with a service call situation. I have to wait till it stops printing. Fifty one whole pages. All right. So from a jamming standpoint. Um, as stated earlier, uh, anytime there's a jam on the device, it will show you on the user interface where that jam is by showing a symbol that looks like two rollers and a, jumped, uh, uh, a jammed up piece of paper in them. Okay, so moving over to where most of your jams are going to be are in the side duplex cover here. Okay, 90% of your jams are going to be here, the other 10%, the other uh, another 5% should be here. Okay, so they're pretty easy to get to as far as from a removal standpoint. Just make sure, and you can, you can slam these pretty good. They make the machines pretty robust as far as, uh, as, far as being able to shut them up. If you, when, you, when you shut them, when you close them, make sure that they are nice and tight. Otherwise, the machine won't, won't jump up um, back running. So the, the, the other place where your jams would be would be here in the finisher cover. Okay, and you can see that things that things are numbered one and two. So you go to one and two and again grab a piece of paper from both sides and pull out from both corners so that nothing gets nothing gets torn off. Okay? Uh, so that's the jamming. Bypass tray is over here on the right side of the device. Okay. Just folds down and again this color green is where you use the guide arms to, depending on which way you put your documents in. Um, we do have the one drawer set up for cardstock, but when in doubt, if you're ever using um, any kind of cardstock that you're not sure if it can be done through the drawers and so forth, just go ahead and default to the to the bypass tray. It's kind of your fail safe on that. Um, and then if you're using any uh, any copy paper that's not letter size and you need to you need it to go in this way, so um, like legal or ledger. You can then have these arms that come out so that your paper's not falling off onto the floor. And so that just folds up like that.